This video is for P2, radiation and life, and is about the heating effect and ionisation. So you need to know the differences between the two processes and the radiations that are associated with, with each of them. So we're going to look at what happens when there is radiation directed towards a material and what effect this has on the atoms that make up this material. So if we consider these uh, photons that are being directed towards the atoms in this material, the radiation is going to be absorbed and uh, this is going to make the atoms uh, vibrate and the effect that this is going to have is the material is going to get warmer. So you need to know which radiations are responsible for the heating effect and one of them is microwave radiation uh, which is strongly absorbed by water and fat molecules which makes sense because we use microwaves sometimes to heat our food up. Infrared also has a heating effect uh, when its photons are absorbed by a material and we utilise this when we toast bread in a toaster. So when we're thinking about ionisation, we first of all need to think about what we already know about the atom. Uh, we know that in the nucleus there are protons which are positively charged, neutrons which have no charge, and then around the outside of the atom in shells we have electrons which have a negative charge. So in ionisation there's an interesting effect that happens uh, when this charge on the atom is changed. So if we consider the atom on the left hand side, uh, this has six protons, and it also has six electrons, so therefore its overall charge is zero. On the right hand side though, a photon has taken out one of these electrons and it has six protons and five electrons, so an overall charge of plus one. So when this electron is removed by a high energy photon, um, it's gonna result in an atom that has a positive charge, and this is known as an ion, that's why the process is known as ionization. And ions are quite special because it means that they're more likely to be able to take part in chemical reactions and reactions that they might not have been able to take part in before. So an issue with ionisation is that it can damage living cells. Um, lower energy uh, ionising radiations can cause mutations, which can cause cancers, um, and higher energy can uh, actually destroy the cells themselves, which can lead to radiation sickness. The ionising radiations consist of gamma, x-ray and some of the UV uh, part of the electromagnetic spectrum and this is because they're the only ones that have got um, high enough energy photons to knock an electron out of its orbit. 